Hey there, Guildmates. We are back with episode three of My Hero Academia season two. We're going to get the sports festival underway. Once again, guys, just like I said in the intro, if you haven't seen these episodes before, please go watch them before you come and check out my reactions. Should be self-explanatory, but you never know. <laughs> okay. Uh, and support the official release, guys. All right. Episode three. Here we go. Oh, good. Why the heck are you all here? Do you students have some sort of business with our class? Why are you blocking our doorway? I won't let you hold us hostage! They're scouting out the competition, idiots. <gasps> We're the class that survived a real villain attack. They well, want to see us with their own eyes. Anybody. At least now you know what a future pro looks like. Now move it, extras. You can't walk around calling people extras just because you don't know who they are! I love that, So extras. this is class 1A. I heard you guys were impressive. But you just sound like an ass. Is everyone in the Hero Course delusional, or just you? Uh, How sad to come here and find a bunch of egomaniacs. I wanted to be in the Hero Course, but like many others here, I was forced to choose a different track. Such as life. I didn't cut it the first time around, but I have another chance. If any of us do well in the sports festival, the teachers can decide to transfer us to the hero course. And they'll have to transfer people out to make room. <laughs> Scouting the competition, maybe some of my peers are. But I'm here to let you know that if you don't bring your very best, I'll steal your spot right from under you. Consider this a declaration of war. Where did this guy even come from? <laughs> I like his dub voice. It's pretty hey, awesome. You. Came to see if that was true. But you're just a bunch of brats who think tetsu. you're better than us. Crap, everyone hates our class now. Talk all you want. It'll just be more embarrassing when you're KO'd. Don't you ignore me! Dude, where are you going? You gotta say something. It's your fault they're all hating on us, Bakugo. These people don't matter. Huh? The only thing that's important is that I beat them. <sighs> hey, I'm coming for you! Tetsu Tetsu. <laughs> that was such a manly exit. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> we have to beat them. He wasn't wrong. Yeah, sure, but this sucks. The UA Sports Festival is in two weeks. The whole thing will be live on TV. I mean, he's still building up his There's body, no which is good, but the audience should, have a much every time he's training, pro he hero should be day. using one for all. The like, right there. The he's one percent of one for all. Throw just... any sort of trial at us. Use your so, quirk in everyday life so you get for used to it. Even if it's just a team bit. See? He just got the right idea. Sutu. Ah, uh, Susu cute. Damn! <laughs> oh, invisible girl. Oh, it's you. That's you, a -train. Like, it looks passed. like all the training, training time hard, by but... quickly. Before we knew it, it was the morning of the festival. Whoa, now, lady, is it really you? I'm Hulk Salt, will you? Of course! That's gonna be ten bucks. Uh, um, oh no. My money's in another car, too. Oh, uh, this is on the house! Aren't you a dear? Have you no sense of shame? <laughs> no, not really. I was hoping I'd get to do some scouting while I was here. Yeah, too bad we're stuck working security this time. Mm. Looks like they called in pro heroes from all over to guard this thing. Quite a show. Aw, oh, man! I was totally 
hoping I could wear my costume. At least everyone will be in uniforms. That'll keep things fair, right? I wonder what they have in store for us in the first round. No matter what they've prepared, we must persevere. Right. Everyone, get your game faces on! We're entering the arena soon! Swallow your fear, swallow your fear, swallow your fear! Midoriya. <laughs> I love that. Swallow your fear, swallow your fear, swallow your fear. Hey, Todoroki. What's up? From an objective standpoint, I think it's fairly clear that I'm stronger than you. Uh, um, yeah. However, you've got All Might in your corner helping you out. I'm not here to pry about what's going on between you two. But know that I will beat you. <coughs> oh, what's with all these declarations of war lately? Yeah, what's the big deal? Why are you picking a fight all of a sudden? And right before we get started... We're not here to be each other's friends. Don't forget, this isn't a team effort. Mm -hmm. Wait a sec, Todoroki. I don't know what's going through your head. Or why you think you'd need to tell me that you'll beat me. And yeah, of course you're better than me. In fact, you probably have way more potential than anyone in the hero course. That's why you got in so easily. Midoriya, maybe you're being a little hard on yourself and mm -hmm. us. No, he's right, you guys. All the other courses, they're coming for us with everything they've got. I want to be the world's greatest hero! We're all gonna have to fight to stand out. And I'll be aiming for the top, too. Fine. Yeah. Bakugo didn't like that. I just wanna say, I'm gonna win. I knew we'd say something like that! <laughs> Why would you be so disrespectful? You're representing us all! It's not my fault the rest of you are just stepping stones to my victory. I'm gonna crush this overconfident jerk! I can't wait to knock him down to size! I don't think it is overconfidence. The old Kachan would have laughed while saying that, making it a joke. This is him pushing himself. And turning all the rest of us into targets at the same time. First obstacle. Apologies. About to say grape rush. <laughs> Are you okay? It's those robots from the entrance exam. Oh, enemies have shown up out of nowhere. I bet we're in for a treat here. A test on strength and cunning. It's a robo inferno. So this is what the other students faced in their entrance exams. Where does the school even get the funding for these things? Yeah, <laughs> they make the most likely. They the support course. They through a lot of trouble, but I wish they prepared something a little more difficult. Especially since my dear old dad is watching. Dear old dad. Uh -huh. So we get. At this point, I think this is Todoroki's first mention of the death. Or Shoto's first mention of the death. Dude, he stopped the 
Offensive and defensive. No wonder he was let in on recommendations! He never even fought those Robo Infernals before! But they didn't stand a chance against his sure topping moves! Oh, please. Like he did the only one. Why are you standing Don't still, hurry. Midoriya? No, you can't beat those, son! Get out of there! Please just run away from me, baby! I have to get past these robots while looking out for other obstacles. Holy crap, I'm gonna die! Why won't my feet move? Come on, think. What do I do? Okay, I have. A lot more over this time so it actually is two pages front back and more uh that having been said uh okay so i did make some comments that are just kind of lighthearted as opposed to just analyzing the episode this has turned into more of an analyst uh and uh, i'm trying to balance out reaction and analysis so give me a second because this is still kind of new even on a second episode the intro doesn't have enough suit champ that's just needs more suit champ uh, Suyu is, Suyu is best frog, just so you all know. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say who's best girl, but Su Chan is up there. She's, she's adorable. Um, I love how big All Might, uh, just some aesthetic stuff real quick. I love how big All Might's suit looks on him, uh, because he was previously in, like, his muscle mode, and, uh, when he, in the, in the episode before, and now when he's having his conversation with, Midoriya in the in the room at the beginning uh and his deflated form the suit's so big on him and it's so funny I love that uh I love the hero masks the hero masks that showed up when we're seeing Kamui Woods and Death Arms and Mount Lady walking around outside of the uh UA arena for the sports festival if you didn't see them they had uh they had Endeavor All Might and uh I saw Present Mike all these little masks which were really cute. Uh, Present Mike is best announcer. Uh, and I think that he and Aizawa are just the best pair. Like, the two of them should always commentate on stuff. It's just, just because of the pure giant contrast between their personalities. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I have a question for you guys because that stadium is huge. How many people do you think it holds? Like, they did say that it replaced the Olympics. And with that big of a stadium, that's not that far fetched. Um, uh, I don't know if it could fit the population of Tokyo, but I'd say probably at least half to a quarter. It could definitely, it looks at least, oh, uh, football stadium or higher. And I'm not just talking about like American football. I'm talking about world football. I don't call it European football because the rest of the world calls it football. So, um, uh, I I also like the fact that everybody was really ner that everybody was nervous when they were walking out. Uh, also, he may be an ass, but Bakugo had the right idea. He was in the right. He had the right mentality. Uh, as soon as he stepped out onto the field, he had the right mentality going for him. I think the game show aspects of the festival, the sports festival, um, was a little off putting at times. I don't know how necessary it was. I understand that in Japanese culture. Like, with all the television and stuff that they have, that stuff's probably pretty normal. But to me, it's a little off-putting. Uh, the build-up music for the first event, as we were waiting for the three green lights to go away, to blink out, uh, was awesome. Also, I, I thought it was a really good use of everyone showing off everyone's reactions and their quirk use against Todoroki's ice when he used the ice in the beginning. Uh, uh, Midoriya's hesitation, that bothers me a little bit because, yeah, I, I get that he's probably hesitating because he's thinking about stuff, but come on, 
he's faced these before and he's uh, he's already gone through a lot more than like yeah i get that at this point in time he's not very strong with his quirk and everything but midoriya's hesitation is pretty sad considering uh he should have more confidence uh, in his experiences so far, the experiences that he's had so far, these robots shouldn't make him freeze up that much. Like, I get, like, a moment's hesitation and then he moves, but he needs to be quicker to action. And it just, it feels like he took one step forward, two steps back right here. And that's just, I'm not saying it's bad writing, because that happens a lot in reality. Like, you take a step forward, two steps back. But at the same time, like, I, I, really, I really would have liked to have seen more. So... Um, this is not necessarily, I, I didn't necessarily mean for this to turn into complaints about the individual episodes. I'm just pointing out certain things and sharing my thoughts. But yeah, those were my thoughts on this episode, episode three of season two of My Hero Academia. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you have a guess as to how many people are in that, or uh, that, that stadium can seat things like that. And it's okay if you disagree with me. You can disagree with me in the comments. Tell me why you disagree with me. Just try not to be an ass about it. That's all I ask. That having been said, I will see you guys in episode four. Later, Gators. Mm -hmm.